This is Terlingua Ghost Town, what's left of a thriving mining community that existed here in the most remote part of Texas from the early 1900s until World War II. 2,000 people once lived here, most of them working in the mercury mines, but there were stores and schools and churches and houses and hotels too, until the Chisos Mining Company closed down for good and Terlingua was abandoned almost overnight. For decades, Terlingua has baked in the unforgiving West Texas sun and looming over it all like a dilapidated castle on the hill is the home of mining company owner Howard Perry. Perry built this place for his family. Truth is, they never spent a night here. They didn't like it. And since the Great Depression, it too has set lifeless and abandoned, rotting slowly and crumbling into the desert soil. Until now. Welcome to the mansion. My name's Casey. Thank you. It's called Upstairs at the Mansion, and it is certainly not a five star hotel. But if you're looking to get away from everything and enjoy life at a different pace, well, this place could be for you. The concept of living your life at the velocity of chilled desert honey is something that I have come to appreciate. The pace of life here is very, very uh, slow, and the heat makes you um, uh, slow down and observe the desert and the scenery around you. It was a couple of years ago that Casey Fullwood came to Terlingua on vacation and saw some potential in the old building, enough potential to inspire her to move to Terlingua from Nome, Alaska, and run one of the most unique overnight experiences in the state. The similarities between this is that there is very rugged uh, climate here and very harsh landscape and it's very hard to get to. So you have to uh, really want to come to Big Bend and you have to really want to go to Nome, Alaska to get there. And the other unique thing is uh, the people. The people that live in both places are um, very eclectic people and they're real characters. And that's what it takes to live in, in a very off the grid sort of place. And don't be fooled, there are still plenty of people in this ghost town. It's really rather difficult to find ruins uh, to live in that are comfortable here. There's, uh, I like to tell guests when they come because they think, oh, this is a ghost town and nobody lives here. And I said, if it's got a roof on it, they live here. <laughs> this is the downstairs room. And if you would like to just come in here. There's just two rooms available of the four that are still habitable. And they are nice, but it's not the rooms that bring people here. It's the experience. One guest from Germany summed it up best, calling his week-long experience extreme porching. Yep, they come from all over the world, but Casey warns it's not for everyone, at first anyway. I had some people come from the Netherlands and the man had made all the reservations and hadn't told his wife about where they were staying. They pulled up and uh, he came around and he said, hello, uh, my wife won't get out of the car. Could you come and talk to her please? And I said, oh, certainly. So I came out and she's like looking very suspicious. She says, this couldn't be where we're staying, is it? And I said, well, yes, ma'am, actually it is. And if you'd like to come see your room, you don't have to stay if you would choose to decide not to. And she came up and she uh, reluctantly got out of the car and came up inside her room. She goes, well, yes, this is very nice. This, this will be okay. And then they asked to extend their visit and stay two days longer. And they didn't want to leave when at the end of those four days. Just minutes away from upstairs at the mansion, you will find plenty of other things to feed your sense of adventure. There's the beauty of Big Bend National Park, the majesty of Santa Elena Canyon, 
and sunrises and sunsets that you will never forget. But if you prefer, you can just take in life from this porch perched high on the hill in Terlingua Ghost Town. It's an experience unlike any other and one that you probably shouldn't put off too long. I like to say it's a moment in time here at the mansion because it is a ruin and it is falling down as we speak. So you can be sitting here on the porch of the mansion here, chunk, chunk on the metal roof. And um, that's uh, our moment in time. <laughs> so this is uh, just something that people will be able to experience for um, a few of the coming years, I would think.